You know, here on The Takeaway, every Monday we do our agenda segment, and we always ask our guests to tell us their word of the week. But I, I want to give you my word. I don't want to give you a word of the week. I want to give you a word of the year, of 2011. And that word is disconnect. I think it's one of the things that has become very clear, especially in recent days, uh, as we have this debate going on in Washington over the debt ceiling. In the meantime, in Minnesota, you have the government shut down for the longest time in history, in U.S. history. and you know, thousands, tens of thousands of state workers are out of work, not getting paid, wondering how they're going to pay their bills. In the meantime, the politicians who can't reach a, a, an agreement are getting paid. That's a disconnect. Um, the disconnect but that Mike Munger of Duke University pointed out on the show today between the discussions that they're having, what they're fighting about on Capitol Hill, and how far removed that is from what people are concerned about in the rest of the country. And again, this has nothing to do with political party. Many people in the United States, regardless of whether they are donkeys or, or elephants, um, are worried about unemployment. They're worried about their future. They're people who are college educated, who invested in having some kind of stability in their lives and now have none, are facing homelessness at age 55 or, or above. Um, those are the kind of things that our politicians probably should be most concerned about. And instead, they're arguing about whether or not we should have en energy efficient incandescent bulbs available in our stores or not. It's a disconnect. And the question that you have to take it one step further is, why? Why is there such a disconnect between what's going on in Washington and what's going on in the rest of the world? And also, why do we keep electing people if we feel they don't actually represent our priorities and our concerns? How do they keep getting into office? They're both good questions. It's something that we here on The Takeaway are planning to pursue and hopefully get it answered.